Now here we have one of our battery Evo inverters. I'm gonna show you how to hook this up with one of our 48 volt batteries. It's gonna be the same process, whether it's uh, for any of our 48 volt battery packs, whether it's the Condor, the Rhino, the Kong, any of those models will hook up the exact same way to uh, either a six kilowatt inverter or a 12 kilowatt inverter that we do sell. So this is the initial setup. If you're using a different battery or a different inverter, the process is usually the same. On the bottom here, we have the, the breakers. The breakers are associated to the connections down here that we have the AC input, AC output, and PV input for people trying to go off-grid solar. This is gonna be the one that you're gonna use. Now, for people who are still grid-tied, whether it's with solar panels or without solar panels, these are gonna be the, the inputs that you're gonna be using for your home. Remember, one more time, DC solar panels, off-grid, AC home residentials, solar, or non-solar homes. We'll use AC. So now we're gonna hook up the battery. It's gonna be pretty simple. You're just gonna go red to red. Screw it on. You're gonna go negative to negative with the black cable. Then you can use this you can use the screws here to be able to be able to put your caps on when you're ready to do that for each one of these. I'm gonna keep them off for now. The network port connects right here. And then the Wi-Fi goes on this port here. So that's how you hook up the Wi-Fi and the network ports. Now, we're gonna be able to plug this into the battery. It's right. So here I have the Condor Elite. This is the one we're gonna to use to connect it to this inverter. But again, this does work with any of our 48 volt batteries when you combine a 48 volt battery to our 48 volt inverter. So it's the same process. So now that we have this wired up, you're gonna take the Anderson side and that's gonna go on the side of this battery here. So this one and all the other ones have the exact same cable. You can turn this on. See, it's gonna turn on here. See now that this has turned on. This is a sine wave inverter and charger. So this is how you're gonna be able to move the power from the battery into your home and or your home's grid or solar going back into the battery here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to hook this up to a sub panel. Cause that's the most important part is how are we gonna get our battery's power back into our home. Sub panel, breakers, generator port, and then you're gonna need one of these SS250 P cables on one end that goes into the generator port and then you're gonna have the other wired ends that are gonna go to the inverter. So now to do that, again, make sure that your breakers are turned off, turn off the inverter, make sure your battery is off. Do not plug these in while you're still running power. So connecting this type of wire to the, to the bottom here is pretty much the same on any of the ports that you're using, but it's important to know what each one is for. I mentioned before that this is the PV input. We're not gonna plug this in directly to solar panels today, so we're not gonna be plugging it in here, but you just take your, your positive and your negative and you would wire them right up in here, right? It's, it's super simple. You're just gonna unscrew the tops just a little bit, not all the way off, enough for the, um, enough for the terminal ports down here to be able to get inside and you're just gonna tighten them down, right? So here we're gonna actually connect this to our sub panel because we want to get the battery out. So we're going to use the AC output area. If you need to get power in from your grid to charge the battery, uh, you're going to use the AC input. Right now we're going to plug it into the AC output. So you're going to go positive, negative, ground based on the number, the, based on the letters you have down here. And then we're going to just screw on the top so it holds into place and makes contact with the metal. So now that's plugged in. So a lot of you electricians might know it's just a simple generator port. We're gonna plug this in here. And we're gonna tighten it up. And then we're gonna turn on the battery. So there's gonna be no power coming in from the main grid. We only have the sub panel connected to our inverter here. Now that it's all wired up, we're gonna open up the breaker here. And now you can see the virtual home that's wired up to our sub panel is getting the power 
through the generator port and the AC cable, this inverter is taking the power from our battery. So this is how you're gonna be able to wire up a battery to your home.